What's crappy and expensive to make? That's right. An unboxing video. And this particular unboxing video will be of the The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds, Nintendo 3DS XL console. Um, now this console comes with a full download of The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds, and it'll, it's $220 without tax at GameStop. So, um, let's just run down to the price. It's actually a really nice box. It's similar to, similar to the one that the Pikachu, um, XL came in. Um, it's got a nice sort of matte finish on it. It's not the glossy stuff like on the Wii U, but, uh, Without further ado, let's crack this open and see what the system looks like. Alright, so now that I've taken it out of the box, I'll just uh, go over what you get with it. I mean, obviously there's uh, the code card for um, downloading your game. I'm not going to show you what mine is because, you know, I could sell this or give it to somebody, whatever. Um, let me see, uh, this comes with the basic stuff that any system would come with, or any 3DS system that is, you know, uh, Club Nintendo Code, um, just AR cards, same thing, basically that the regular and, you know, other XL models come with. So, other than that, you get a charger, obviously. I've already got well, that makes three now. Uh, so, the only other thing in this box is the console itself. So, Let's crack this open and see what it looks like. Alright, so this is the Link Between Worlds console in all its glory. And I might say that it looks really, really nice. It's, um, it's got sort of like a, I'm sure you can tell, like a metallic finish on the top. It's not the glossy stuff that leaves fingerprints. But, it's not the same as, like, on the Pikachu 3DS. Um, so right here you've got the regular Triforce, and... Oh wow, that's really nice looking, actually. Uh, it's got the stylus. You know, it's like any 3DS console would. You've got your... SD card slot and this system I believe does come with a 4 gigabyte SD card um, so that's pretty cool I mean I've already got a few of those so I don't really need it but you never have too many SD cards in my opinion so uh now, I guess the only thing to do is to power it on to show you how it works, even though everybody knows that. Alright, so here's what the system looks like opened up. It's got this protective plastic here over the screens. And is there one on the touch screen? I don't think so. But, uh, you know. You got your startup process here. Nice looking uh, black X, Y, A, and B buttons. It's really nice contrast with the gold. You've obviously got your 3D switch, hence the 3DS. I actually really like this. Like all the buttons look really nice. And... Wow. So, uh, well. 
I'll compare it to the Pikachu 3DS. Um, I actually like the Zelda one a lot more, just because, well, here with the Pikachu 3DS, it looks nice and all, but it just looks kind of bland. It's, I mean, you've got white buttons on a white console, and a gray sort of control stick over there, and, you know, it doesn't look bad, but uh, I certainly do prefer the Zelda one a lot more than this one. This one's pretty nice, too. I just, I'm not really a fan of the yellow and white. But, uh, yeah, it's really, really cool looking. Um, I'm actually really glad I bought this. Um, so, yeah, it's a, it's a really nice looking console. I can tell I'm going to be using it a lot. Um, but that just about wraps it up. I mean, I'm not sure what there is to cover that I haven't already. You've got the volume and the other just sort of obvious things like your headphone jack, front cameras, well, back cameras, but it's on the front of the DS right there. There's the front camera, back cameras, internet switch, uh... But yeah, that's about all there is to say about the Zelda 3DS. It's very nice looking. I would definitely recommend it if you're a fan of the series or if you just, if you're a collector like I am. Thanks for watching.